Marcel, I know you celebrated your 500th appearance on the DP World Tour with that monster putt, but I have a funny feeling 502 is going to be very special for you. It is, definitely, yeah. Um, I was cool that putt, but this, I mean, winning a golf tournament, being back in a winner's circle now, that means everything to me, and um, it's just unbelievable. It's, uh, it was tough out there with, with Yannick. He played unbelievable. No room for errors. Yeah. Uh, heart and mouth stuff coming down 18. We were anticipating the drama and we thought that might be the case. What were you thinking when that ball left your club? I, I was shocked that it was just over the water. I thought it was actually 10 yards on. I thought it has enough top spin to get up the, the, the hill. I had that same shot on Friday, I think. Um, it was a horrible layup. I, I made it really difficult for myself there. Might as well hit the second shot on the green. Uh, <laughs> it's less stress <laughs> then. But uh, I'm super happy that uh, I got through there. Tenth hole, you walked off one shot clear for the first time. When you stood on 14th tee, things changed a little bit. Yannick made birdie, you made bogey. Mm. I know there's times when you've had to pull yourself up and kind of relax. Was that one of those moments? Yeah, I think I made one mistake on 11. Um, I think I was two, sh two shots clear all of a sudden. That, that, that birdie putter hold and I, <coughs> it was a proper fist pump. In that heat, you have to be careful. It just came out. I said, Let's "Just relax, dude." I mean, it's. I think I'm too old for this. You know, I have seven holes to go, and uh, that takes so much energy out of you. Mm -hmm. That celebration. So, and it just comes out of me all the time. But I said, "Okay, now, now stay calm." And um, I was 14. I mean, the pressure was on again. Um, that that five wood. I was just barely concentrating there. And um, yeah, that 15, 16, 17, 18 was was pretty solid. I mean, 18 was not really solid, but uh, 15, 16, 17 was was cool. I was back there with my concentration, luckily. Yeah, you came into this week with so much form. Nick Backham, your fellow competitor and countryman, was telling everybody at the very beginning of the week you were the guy to beat. Did you feel you were due? Why? Well, coming from top 20s straight to a win, I mean, for me, my goal was a top 10 this week. I, I never really had the feeling, um, okay, this is my week, I, I will win. Um, Yosti, I played with him in uh, Thailand already. He finished third there. Uh, Yannick comes of, of a top two as well uh, from last week. So f for me, I thought like, okay, I have to do something special today to, to win this golf tournament. And um, wow, they played great. So well done, guys, again. And um, yeah, I made it. Yes. <laughs> a win on the DP World is always special, given where you were four months ago fighting for your future. This must be just even sweeter for you. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, that qualifying school category is, is not a good category. I mean, you have a card, but you never know when you get the starts. And, and so you have to play literally everything. And um, you know, I'm, you know, now I can choose and pick where I want to go again and uh, makes makes life a lot easier. You know, we, we moved to, to Heritage Golf Club, um, my, which are my sponsors since five years. And uh, I moved the family there. My wife and the kids are there already. And they're all watching. Um, this changed now because with the qualifying school category, it was so tough to travel from there. So now I can really pick and choose the events. I can prepare properly on the golf course. Um, it's, it's a life changer. I, I just can't believe it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Lastly, I know the family would have been screaming at the TV had 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 a chance to speak to them because I know that would be an emotional conversation. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> uh, my phone is in the bag downstairs, and um, one of my friends, he's friends with my mom, and he had my mom on the phone, so she was with me at the at the prize giving and my coach as well, um, which is cool. They were watching from Germany, but uh, I haven't spoken to anybody, so um, I can't wait to do that. Marcel, many many congratulations. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. Marcel, many congratulations. Your fifth win on the DP World Tour and one you're not going to forget anytime soon. Tell us what this victory means to you. Ja, unglaublich. Also, ähm, mein Ziel nach den ganzen Top 20, die ich jetzt hatte in letzter Zeit, war jetzt ein Top 10 diese Woche. Ähm, ich habe eine ganz gute Statistik, glaube ich. Wenn ich die Chance habe zu gewinnen, dann habe ich es eigentlich auch gemacht. Äh, die Turniere. Ich war jetzt gar nicht so oft in Contention. Ähm, ich habe es heute jetzt wieder geschafft, bin echt stolz auf mich. Yannick hat es mir nicht einfach gemacht, Joost hat tierisch viel Druck gemacht. Ähm, ja, ich bin einfach mega happy, dass ich das, dass ich das geschafft habe. Ähm, das ist wirklich wieder ein Game Changer und ich freue mich schon so in Deutschland wieder aufzuziehen, weil bei unseren deutschen Turnieren bald und ähm, ja, mega. I know Joost was trying to make something happen, Yannick stayed very solid. Uh, did it feel like a chess match at times, especially going down that back nine? Ja, yeah, for sure. I mean, it was, was very important. Oh. Take two seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ähm, ja, es war wichtig, als so schnell wie möglich ähm, mit Janik gleichzuziehen. Ähm, als dann eins aufgegangen ist, also schon eins auf, aber ähm, ein Schlag besser war als er. Ähm, und dann zwei. 
Da muss ich ehrlich sagen, ist mir die Konzentration, glaube ich, ein bisschen flöten gegangen nach meinem Fistpump und nach meiner Celebration. Da muss man wirklich aufpassen, dass man das erst am letzten Loch macht, glaube ich. Da muss ich mich ein bisschen zügeln in nächster Zeit. Aber das kommt einfach aus mir raus immer. Aber die Jungs haben unglaublich gut gespielt, sehr solide gespielt, konstant gespielt, kaum Fehler gemacht. Und der Druck war unglaublich. Also ich habe noch kein Turnier gespielt, wo, wo ich so viel Druck verspielt habe, über 18 noch. Also das war, war extrem. 2014, last time winning on the DP World Tour, four months ago, you got your playing rights. What does this mean for you going forward? Ja, Wahnsinn. Also mit der Qualifying School Category kann man wirklich gar nicht planen. Und ähm, für mich war es halt super wichtig, gut Start hinzulegen, weil ich natürlich in die Rolex Events nicht reinkomme Mitte des Jahres. Und am Ende weiß ich auch nicht, ob ich reinkomme. Und dann die letzten Jahre bin ich knapp an der Karte vorbeigerasselt. Ähm, jetzt mit der Winners Category ist natürlich ähm, das Leben etwas einfacher. Und ähm, ja, ist mega. Ich, ich raff's noch gar nicht. Also, jetzt geht's erstmal nach Mauritius zu meiner Familie und dann äh, wird neu geplant. Done, man. Go enjoy it. Well done. Thank you.